Hawaii 2022 on the beautiful garden island of Kauai. Day one was spent on Anini Beach. This northeastern beach is protected from the big surf by an amazing coral reef that has abundant fish and turtles. It offers easy access from shore to some of the island's best snorkeling. The calmer waters also makes paddle boarding fun and easy. While the beach is typically not crowded with humans, you will have to share it with some local chickens. Day two started early with a boat tour of the Nepali coast. We had a 6 a.m. meeting with the captain of the Holo Holo Charters, and by 7 a.m. we set sail. The seven hour tour was to include sightseeing up along the west side of Kauai, up along the Nepali coast, As the sun began to rise, we spotted a few spinner dolphins. These dolphins are relatively small for the dolphin family, only reaching lengths of about 7 foot and max weights of about 170 pounds. We then spotted a pod of bottlenose dolphins. You might recognize these dolphins from the famous flipper. They can grow up to about 12 foot long and weigh upwards of 1,400 pounds. The Nepali coast is a beautiful shoreline that is only accessible by boat, helicopter, or hiking some 18 miles over some technical terrain. The Nepali coast has been used for some major Hollywood productions, including Tropical Thunder, Six Days and Seven Nights with Harrison Ford, and most popular was Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides.
after encountering some 15 to 20 foot swells up along the Nepali coast, the captain put safety first and made the decision not to head across the channel to Nihiho. It's estimated that 10,000 humpback whales migrate to the warm Hawaiian waters every winter. This is a 3,000 mile trip from Alaska and takes about six to eight weeks. Humpback whales consume up to about 3,000 pounds of food per day. But while in Hawaii, they don't eat. They came there to mate. They are the fifth largest species in the world, weighing between 50 and 80,000 pounds and grow up to about 60 foot in length. We were able to find some calm cove along the coast of Kauai for some snorkeling. After we got out of the water, we enjoyed a few local beers and some lunch. Holo Holo Charters advertising was beyond correct. They claimed they were voted the second best boat tour in the U.S. I beg to differ and say they are the best. Because we didn't get to go to Nihiho Island, the captain sent us back to the charter office for a partial refund. This was completely unexpected. Day two continues. After a short stop at Spouting Horn, we jumped back in the water at Poipu Beach. This is a popular beach destination on the south side of Kauai. The Travel Channel named it America's Best Beach. This is a nice beach, but a little too busy for our taste but the snorkeling is amazing and very accessible.
After leaving the beach, we stopped at Uncle's for an icy treat. They do have the best shaved ice in Hawaii, but with a recent recommendation, we tried the Hawaiian Honey Toast with macadamia nut ice cream. It did not disappoint. Day three. Day three was our waterfalls and hiking day. It was a little rainy and overcast. Our first stop was Ho'opee Falls. This is a series of two waterfalls up along the Kapa'e stream. The falls were used as a filming location in Jurassic Park, 1993. For the fictional site of a mine located in the Dominican Republic. The trail is an old road that hasn't been used for many years. This was evident by a partial car or two we saw along the trail. The Mo'o'o Lepe Trail offers wonderful views of the green jagged ridges of the Makala Leha Mountains and far off ocean views on a clear day. What up, chickens? Sorry, ain't got no food, dude. Opaika Falls is a waterfall located on the Opaika Stream in Waluwa River State Park. It's a 151 foot waterfall that flows over basalt from volcanic eruptions millions of years ago.
Day 4 Waimea Canyon Waimea Canyon is dubbed as the Grand Canyon of the Pacific. The Waimea River carved its way through the lava and basalt formations of this region. The central volcano that lay on the canyon collapsed over 10 million years ago, playing a vital role in forming this beautiful canyon. The Waimea River carved its way through the lava and basalt formations of this region. The canyon itself is 14 miles long, one mile wide, and more than 3,600 foot deep. It's an 18-mile drive from sea level up to the end of the road in the park. Along the way, there are several amazing lookouts, including Waimea Canyon Lookout at mile 10, Pew Hinahina Lookout at mile 13, and finally Kalalao Lookout at the end of the road, mile 18. Waimea Canyon Lookout, located at mile marker 10. This lookout offers a panoramic view of the landscape across the edge of the canyon. Pew Hina Hina Lookout at mile 13 gives you a parallel view of the canyon. You can see the winding river as it makes its way through the rocks into the sea. Kalalao Lookout at mile 18. Here you will be able to see a view of the Nepali coast and an amazing view of the deep blue sea. This is the only view of the Nepali coast that can be seen by car. After the long drive up the canyon and back, we stopped for an afternoon treat at JoJo's Shaved Ice. Lisa had the rainbow, which was strawberry, banana, and vanilla over vanilla ice cream. 
I had the South Shore, which was pineapple and coconut over macadamia nut ice cream. Day five, Tunnels Beach. This beach in the summertime is rated one of the best snorkeling beaches on North Kauai. While when we visited, the surf was high and riptides were very strong. This beach is known by many as the location of the infamous Bethany Hamilton shark attack that resulted in her losing her arm. Despite this unfortunate incident, there is a low rate of shark attack occurrences at Tunnels Beach. Statistically speaking, you're more likely to get into a car accident than to be attacked by a shark. Molo A'a Beach. This is also known as Gilligan's Island Beach. The Gilligan's Island pilot and first episode were filmed at this beach in November 1963. You can still see the rocky outcroppings on the beach as seen in the intro. Queen's Bath. The Queen's Bath is one of Princeville's favorite summertime attractions. A pleasant 10 mile hike past a waterfall leads down to a rocky landscape of lava rock. Another five minute trek over uneven rocks leads to the bath. Roughly the size of a large swimming pool, the Queen's Bath is a natural tide pool with some fish. Water spills over the lava rocks to refresh the pool. From October to May, the coast here is exposed to very big surf. So with us visiting in January, it was really rough. People have drowned after being swept off the rocks. After a rain, the path leading down to Queen's Bath becomes very difficult to walk, which you can see was very wet and muddy when we hiked down to the water. But even with the big surf, it was still beautiful and well worth the hike.
untold stories still to share. You're the flame inside my heart. Love like two eternal sparks. Hearts beating. Day six. We head back to Anini Beach one last time before heading home tomorrow. This really is our favorite beach. Little to no crowds, calm waters due to the reef shielding the surf about 300 yards offshore, snorkeling right from shore with an abundant amount of fish and sea turtles, and of course paddle boarding. Speaking of sea turtles, this is one of my most favorite things about Hawaii. Swimming with the turtles.
Yesterday is gone. Forget about tomorrow and the ceilings you see right through. Find the moment and make it. Write your headline and raise it to the sky. No one else can create it. Take your banner and raise it to the sky. There's only one way out inside a prison view. Sea turtles lay their eggs in a nest they dig in the sand with their rear flippers. They typically lay between 100 and 125 eggs per nest. This group of eggs is called a clutch. The eggs will hatch in about two months. As soon as they hatch, the hatchlings dig out of their nest. This process takes about two days. Once they emerge, the little tiny turtles hurry to the sea and make their way offshore into the open ocean. Sea turtles face many threats, but those that survive to become adults live for decades. Find the moment and make it. Write your headline and raise it to the sky. No one else can create it. The sex of sea turtles, like many other turtles, is determined by the temperature in the nest. Cooler incubation temperatures produce male hatchlings, and warmer temperatures produce females. Temperatures that fluctuate between the two extremes will produce a mix of males and females. Sea turtles don't retract into their shells. Unlike other turtles, sea turtles cannot retract their flippers and heads into their shells. Inline shells and large padded shaped flippers make them very agile and graceful swimmers. In the water, their rear flippers are used as rudders for steering. As reptiles, sea turtles breathe air, but they have the ability to remain submerged for up to five hours at a time. They even sleep underwater. They slow down their heartbeat to up to nine minutes between beats in order to conserve oxygen.
Most sea turtles spend their entire life at sea, only returning to nesting beaches to lay eggs. Sea turtles are the ocean's lawnmowers. They have a plant-based diet and eat seagrass. By keeping seagrass short, they prevent it from getting tall and harming other marine creatures. Looking in your eyes, I know that all I need is by my side. Everything is wrong, you make it right The only one who brings me back to life I've been trying to look for all of these things to hold on to But oh, I'm finding better days with you Hold on to me It's estimated sea turtles have been on the earth the for 110 million years which means they once shared the planet with T-Rex and other dinosaurs. They can live up to 100 years old. How big do sea turtles get? Well, adults are between three to four foot long and weigh anywhere between 240 pounds and 450 pounds on average. The largest ever found was five foot long and weighed 871 pounds. 